Okay. 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 13, 12, counting down. Then 9, 8, nine, eight 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, we're live. Okay, ah, I still haven't seen popping up yet. Yeah, we are we are on the screen. If you are on Facebook, you can actually probably see us soon. Okay. Yes, we are live now. Okay. So Eric, uh, later on now, if let's say you, are you looking at your are you looking at your what uh, the the Facebook? You can actually share. Uh, share. Okay. Nobody we will also start, don't worry. So now it's nine o'clock already and um yep. We will wait for a few minutes to see if there's anybody coming up first. Okay. Wow. We will wait for a few minutes to see if there's anybody. You can, can tell actually it's quite lagging from <laughs> it, it, it's a bit lagging one, very funny. One. It's like, hey, maybe there's a chat. Oh, you hello to me. <laughs> Oh, that was just now. Just was just now. I I I test out the check. Yeah. I see. I see. Okay. All right. So we it's a it's about nine o one already, but uh we will still probably wait for about two minutes. Uh, no, no problem. Some people coming up already. Um. Okay. So for those who are watching, so you uh today I'm going to talk to a guitar teacher. Okay, so uh, we haven't start, really start yet, but um, do like and share uh, this video, especially for those who, um, during this period of time, they are doing their business offline. They are used to having a physical place. Okay, um, here we have is a businessman, who entrepreneur. He actually, uh, he was outside. Okay, then uh, how he moves on site. Yeah, so if all is good, we can... Yeah, just like and share. There's, I think there's a, uh, what do you call that? The watch party. You can actually press the watch party and share it over, all over. Okay. So, uh, okay. So, let me start a watch party also in groups. How I share it? Let me try to share. Yeah, you go to Facebook. I just start the watch party, like. Right? Yeah, you just start the watch party. Okay. So you can see on your side also. Yeah. Okay. So, great. Hi everyone. Today we are having uh my friend um Mr. Eric Low, um as you as I've uh, introduced in. My this morning's notice, he's a guitar teacher and he also owns a, a guitar studio. Uh, he's also lecturing uh, music. So, um, probably I'll let uh, Eric himself to introduce. Okay, uh, Eric, would you like to say hi to our audience there? And uh, hello, hi, everybody. <laughs> mm -hmm. Would you like to briefly introduce yourself to uh, yeah, to the audience? Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Hi, I'm, I'm Eric and I play the classical guitar for 30 over years. Okay, I have a fellowship um, qualification for London College of Music. Uh, I think the most important is that uh, I have the passion in playing the guitar and uh, so I want to share this uh, hobby and passion with others. So I decided to pick up full-time teaching uh, 10 over years ago and until now. I, I have I've been teaching um, privately in music schools and I've lectured in co music college here, the Singapore, one of the private music college here uh, for the classical guitar from 
uh, the beginner, I, I have taught from beginner to all the way to um, undergrad and, and graduate level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's cool. Okay, so yeah, quite a bit of qualifications and the background about him. Yeah, so um, probably Eric is not, may not be uh, very, uh, you know, he, he might be a familiar face to some of us here because I have actually done an interview with Eric, um, I think last year. Okay, the time uh, I was at his studio and then he was sharing with me his journey, you know, from a person who was employed. He was actually uh, working for a renowned IT company and then uh, how he chose to give up his job and then, you know, to embark on his passion and, um, and it, it became his business. Okay, so now why I choose to say, you know, to interview Eric again was because, um, you know how, how it is like uh, now with the COVID-19 and then circuit breaker, we are not allowed to operate non-essential businesses. Um, so music studio is one of them. <laughs> yeah, even, even conducting classes. And then, uh, yeah, so everybody has to, you know, start making changes, very prompt changes, and so on and so forth. So, um, Eric, would you like to share uh, with us, you know, um, how does this COVID-19 uh, circuit breaker come circuit breaker actually affect you? Okay, I think starting from the January, we, I, I was teaching with one of the MOE school and... Um, I think in February, they decided to cut down all the uh, extra CCA and uh, I was affected because uh, I couldn't teach them. Mm. Okay. Um, then next is that um, the student and also the student from the college, the private college, uh, some of them are from overseas. La. So I have one that is from China. So she was quarantined. Oh, okay. After she, she came back from Chinese New Year, so I wasn't able to teach the student as well. And also, uh, shortly after that, in about March time, they decided to, I mean, due to the COVID-19, uh, we were advised to close our studio. Right. So I have been teaching in uh, two music studio, uh, two, two private uh, school, mm. music school, and I, we couldn't teach those students as well. Right. Okay. So um, for my private teaching, um, not much affected because, um, because of no choice, uh, we switched to online teaching. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I'm very glad that um, uh, we are sort of, uh, you know, pushed to do something online. Okay. <laughs> okay. And, Okay, and what happened is that um, the first thing that came to my mind when mm. I had to teach the student online, mm. actually I went through a lot of thought processes, how to deliver the lecture mm. from a um, face to face. Right. Where the students see you, you can see his expression, mm. and you can see his finger, everything. Not that uh, online you can't see, you still can see, but right. then um, it's through the computer screen. I see. Okay, it's not, yeah. So um, you have to adapt another, you have to change and modify a certain way of your instruction. Mm, mm. In the past, uh, for, for more beginner students, you can just use your hand and you know, move his fingering and say, ah, nah, this one is, uh, uh, is as, as most of the practical subject, you can actually um, adjust the fingering for him or her, for the right. student easily. Right. Right. But when you're online, you must use another type of languages that to point mm. to him that uh, what are the uh, practical thing that he need or she need to do, the student okay. need to do. I see. Okay. So like, um, now that, uh, sorry, uh, some, I see some uh, already viewing. So for those who, um, who are already viewing us, please remember to like and or to comment hi to uh, Eric and me so that we know that you're around. Okay. I know you guys are watching. Thanks very much for joining us. Okay. Sorry to, uh, all right, Eric, back to your question. You said that during yeah. the, uh, you know, when you're doing face-to-face, -face, you can actually adjust their fingering and uh, their, uh, what do you call that? The, uh, you can adjust them personally, right? 
So, and then right, now, right. now online, right? Uh, being online. So how are you able to do that? Okay. Um, personally, because the, now I have switched my private student, almost all of them, uh, I mean, uh, a very high number, like 90 over percent of them taking lessons with me online now. Mm -hmm. So, well, what? Because I have face to face teaching with them for quite long already. I see. So this makes the switch quite easy. So mm -hmm. and uh, because we have rapport between right. the students. Okay, okay. So when yeah, I when I tell yeah, them, I yeah, the correct, correct. Mm -hmm. So the level of confidence is there as well. Okay. Uh, you've been their teacher for many years, and we both know each other's style. Mm -hmm. I know which student what is the better way that they can receive, he or she can receive the instruction. And we, my lesson usually are quite informal. As they say. Um, hey, look here, and adjust to here, adjust there. And because most of my students now, um, I'm fortunate, I'm very fortunate that they are actually quite high grade, either mm. on their grade six, grade eight, mm. or diploma student. Right. So this makes the teaching more on the musical aspect, on the communication in the music, mm. in the interpretation, in the phrasing. So that would be a lot easier for me to teach as it's not very much on the physical teaching like right. hand-holding the student. Uh, they need very little hand-holding and mm. you know, they are, when you are advanced student, you are actually uh, learning something else than uh, just uh, physically playing the guitar, but um, uh, how to communicate the music you are playing. Mm. And that's one of the very important musical aspects. Mm -hmm. So it's easier to teach, actually it's easier to teach the higher grade and mm -hmm. diploma student that online because they, they will be able to communicate uh, through, through online. And usually, even we see them for face-to-face -face lesson. Right. Mm. We seldom advise on the, uh, the physical fundamental aspect, like your finger must be there or where. Unless it's a very complicated, um, mm. some complicated passage that they, some difficult passage that they need to conquer, they need to, uh, you know, take the challenge. Mm -hmm. So what we do is that we can show them online as well. I see. So does that mean yeah. that, uh, so because just now I mentioned that, uh, sorry, you, you mentioned that uh, they are all your existing students that, uh, so mm. it, you know their style, they know your style, you already bought the rapport, you know, and yeah. they more or less uh, know your criteria, right? You also know their, their standards so you can adjust. But what about those people who are new, totally new? Okay, so far um, I have, postpone a uh, brand new uh, new entry student oh. uh, just that he he was uh, he was going to end, uh, come for his first lesson right. and there was a circuit breaker uh, shutdown we have a partial shutdown circuit breaker so we just have to postpone because he haven't has his guitar he doesn't have his book all this so the the a lot of physical stuff has not been accepted so no choice and the, uh, the most junior student that now I have is uh, mm. he had three lessons before the circuit breaker kick in, kicks oh, in. Okay. Okay? So with that three lessons, um, I have guided him on how to hold the guitar and started his right hand. Uh -huh. So actually, I am able to teach him continuously till now. Oh, okay. And he started his uh, left hand, then, uh, you know, left hand, uh, yeah. Uh, online actually, it was very successful. <laughs> okay, I think a lot of patience. It takes a lot, much, a lot of effort uh -huh. to teach online than to teach offline, because when you face to face, is oh you don't know this. Uh, let me show you and uh, just adjust his finger and he, he will get it because you can hand hold his finger. But uh, when you're online, you yeah. have to show him at a different angle. All right. So you mean this uh, yeah. is not for beginners, lah? What you're trying to say, is it? Yeah. It's 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 not saying not for beginners, but uh, you you take a lot of patience and uh, a lot of experience to guide a beginner. So okay. and this student is not a total beginner. At least uh, he has three lessons with me, mm -hmm. and 
and then continue. If we were, if if I were to start first lesson, I think it would be very difficult. Okay, I see. So now I have, I have been thinking, mm. and the new project I have is that how do I, uh, start to you know design a curriculum that I can teach and a, a beginner, totally beginner student. I see. Uh, from scratch, mm. uh, all, all the way using online. All the way, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so I must have maybe have um, to design more video mm. and send to them on the holding positioning of mm. the, how you position yourself. What's the brain position? Your left hand, right hand. Yeah, and some of the right postures of brain. You know, uh, then all this type of uh, fundamental thing mm. maybe can be recorded and and get them to uh, go through pre course or uh, pre coming in, and that may be mm. helpful. But uh, we are exploring uh, because mm. um, it's it's a it's a good opportunity if we can teach online. I think we can reach to even more students. So you're saying that uh, it's not totally impossible, uh, but it's still it is. We, There's still some ways exploring. We it. are still exploring because I personally have not tried before. Okay. But I think this will be a very good challenge because after teaching for so many years, uh, easily more than 10 years or what, mm. uh, 15 years, but mm. I think that um, with current day technology, mm. I think the hardware, the software, and the internet is um, able to have so good interaction and uh, you know real life effects on online i think it might be possible now with current technology okay. and we are trying to we are, i'm trying to see when, if this is possible mm. and all this kick in uh, from, uh, from last time i taught before this covid-19 i uh, taught overseas student right using online method but very rarely is that i can't go there i will teach them online so, um, okay, so I understand that uh, because I, I used to play guitar but super, super long ago. <laughs> More than 30 years ago. More than 30 years ago. So, yeah, la, teenager. La, <laughs> okay, so I understand uh, the thing is that about teaching music, right? Uh, you, you guys are very particular about sound. So how can, you know, Using this uh, uh, um, online platform to, to portray the kind of sound that you all want, the, the pre precision and, and, and so on, how, how will you be able to do that? Okay, I think um, first of all, when, we, when I thought of doing the online lesson, mm -hmm. actually, um, I look around for, we need to invest a bit. Lah. So I look as, around as, for a teacher, is it? Yeah, okay. because we are one to many. Right. So having a good setup and equipment is uh, you know, paramount for your success. Mm -hmm. So I, I went to get one of the good mic. You, know, you need a very good condenser mic. Okay. And uh, you need a very quite decent uh, webcam. Mm -hmm. So the one that come, usually the one that come with your laptop mm -hmm. is usually quite entry level. So okay. it's, it's good that because we have to demo a lot uh, on the screen, it's good to get a HD or near HD. Like now my video is 720p. Okay. And uh, it's quite clearly able to um, demo using the guitar and it's um, quite clear. You know? We yeah. can see the fingering quite clearly. Okay. Uh, so you can see that quite clearly when you demo the guitar. Mm -hmm. So um, that's why, at least now we invest the current level of technology, we are able to uh, buy something and uh, have quite decent reproduction of the sound. Yeah, of and you have showed me tone. how your mic looks like, right? Like a yeah. long song. <laughs> <laughs> quite a standard conventional mic, but I mean it's worthwhile okay. um, to invest on... Um, Something that you can afford, I think you can uh, weigh that according to your practices. Mm -hmm. I think we've got uh, you are right for you for many years to come. Uh. Okay, 
So the thing is that, um, you know, for you, because you are the teacher, you will play with, you know, you, you, you feel that you need to invest because this is a long run. If you want to continue this online course after the COVID-19 or circuit breaker, right? But what about your students? They, they, would you require them to invest the same thing as well? Uh, no, because we have many students. So we definitely have to make do with all their resources they have. Okay. So some students have uh, better and some have quite standard one. Okay. Um, occasionally, if they're using Wi-Fi, they're not on the, their internet is slower a bit. Mm. Sometimes there's some lacking. So um, I will encourage them to play mm. and record down their pieces and okay. also send to me offline okay. and I can comment on it as well. So this will like compensate for some of the lack. Like, and usually it's uh, not too bad because um, during the online lesson, mm. when they are praying, they, sometimes they, we do not cover the whole piece. We may be working on this uh, eight bar or ten bar type of thing. Right. And uh, we only need to pray through that few bar because the student is uh, working on that few bar. They say, uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Lowe, I'm now on this bar number 10. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> And let's go to bar number 14. And we'll, we'll go there and, you know, crumb out the pieces, mm -hmm. uh, teach them how to... Normally, I'll teach faces by faces, uh, so a few bars. Uh. Okay. And oh, mm. Sorry, continue. Yeah, so um, it's not the whole piece. So the lacking does have not so much effect. I when they just, uh, when they just uh, occasionally, they were you play the whole straight pieces to you from end to end. Just now, I hear you mentioning <coughs> saying that, uh, uh, you know, it, if there's a lagging, if, if let's say the Wi-Fi, there's some disruption, it will cause a lagging. Yeah, so will it happen on your side as well? And how do you overcome it? Okay, for, for my side, I tried... <coughs> Excuse me, I, I connected my... You, you can drink water, you know. Okay, thank <laughs> you. Some churches, we drink water. <laughs> Eric is fighting to drink water. <laughs> okay. For me, I actually I went to hard connect my notebook mm -hmm. to to the land. Right. So there is less chances of it lacking. <coughs> Excuse me. And because of the hard hard uh, is to land now, so the connection is more stable. Right. So I think um, this would be better for instructor and teacher who want to conduct online classes. Mm -hmm. um, I would recommend them to use LAN rather than uh, Wi-Fi because sometimes the Wi-Fi may just drop. Mm. And it, especially yeah. I'm in my studio. Okay. And my glass, if you see my glass studio, actually it block out a lot of signal. Uh. So I have to, it's better to hard connect to a LAN. So I, I think then that would be better, mm. uh, better, better, uh, better facility, you know, mm -mm -mm. Uh, compared to using Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it, it sounds like, you know, the, uh, it's, there's like, you need to invest in this, then you got to think about the, you know, the, the connection, and then what if the sound doesn't work, and then the, the, the student will have to, uh, record down and then send it to you for you for your listening right. and so on and so forth and then uh, how about this is for practical how about theory wise okay theory wise uh, we actually the theory is easier to be teach offline than the practical because theory uh, we can actually tell them to take a photo mm. uh, using uh, something they have a scan can or what yeah. to convert to PDF and send to us. Correct. And uh, what, what we do that, for example, maybe let me share with you this screen yep. that okay. I have. Yep. Uh, so can you see the screen here? Uh, yes. So one of the uh, just recently, 18th of April, mm -hmm. <laughs> this student just sent me the work and I just marked for her. Um, mark for her and later on send this thing to this uh, scan back and send to her and we can also discuss 
on online and uh, which one she did uh, was uh, not optimal something was wrong mm. what went wrong and i have made the correction I, then i explained to her and she does the correction and so on and so forth she right. moves on to the next chapter when she's ready okay uh, so so this is rather easier to teach because uh, the lacking has no effect when you share here mm. uh, have very little effect because you can repeat again uh, uh, sorry i don't hear you sir uh, can you repeat or uh, uh, repeat again mm. and um, also of the marking they can study through then they can ask me questions or oh, why is this wrong then i'll explain mm -hmm. why I mark, uh, what are the areas that uh, he or she need improvement mm -hmm. Mm, yeah, so okay. so uh, at times I may even uh, do my own uh, answers and uh, share with them for example this one. I hope. So this one after I mark them wrong, I share okay this will be answers I just now the it's the same same slides. Uh, same PDF, but I, I did it myself and I showed that this, this answer would probably attract a higher marks right. than your answer. And also this, I like, I will share with them my answer. They call it more the answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, I mean, our local student like more answer, but yeah, yeah, it's true. in music, there's no one right answer. So <laughs> Is that 10 years series or not? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 there's no 10 years series. No, no 10 years series. <laughs> <laughs> there's many possible answers in, in any uh, harmonization or whatever. Yeah. So, it's rather easy to teach them. And also, I can, uh, I can get them to download their past year paper from the various examination boards mm. and they can do it, finish, mm. they scan and they send to me mm -hmm. and I mark them, mm -hmm. then I scan back to them, even okay. without going through online lesson. Then during the online lesson, mm. what I will do is that they will bring up this uh, PDF right. and we will discuss the area that they don't understand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, this, this. Sorry, uh, so if, if, if let's say you are, okay, you, you discuss it, but what about when you were teaching them face-to-face, -face, um, will it be much easier uh, then, you know? Okay, teaching them face-to-face -face will definitely be easier because online lesson, no matter what, you have to, the teacher have to spend more effort and the student also. Mm. Um, the advantages of teaching face to face is that you can mark and you can discuss uh, mm. the thing, and you also can um, uh, change your answer. You can get a student to do another answer. Mm. Uh, what we can do is that uh, some of my students they have two webcam. Uh. They use one of their they use one of their handphone. Okay. To, to, for example, they use Zoom. Yeah. Zoom this somewhere mm. uh, that we are using now. Mm -hmm. So they have one webcam that is facing. Us, there's a on the screen uh, lecture notes and uh, the thing, mm -hmm. and they also have log into Zoom using or their web their camera. Okay. And some of these students, some of these students, they have a camera stand, you know. Ah, uh huh. So they can actually permanently point to the desk and they do their theory. Uh, then I can see what they are doing online. <laughs> okay, that's online. Right? That's it. I said no, this is wrong, or that, that, that could be better. Not say wrong, but uh, uh, sorry, you, you want to think about this, you want to think about that, or oh, then they, we can share through the top process. So it's quite easier. I find that it's easier for me to teach theory online uh, oh. as well uh, compared oh. to practical. But practical, mm -hmm. you, you, you certainly you need some experience uh, teaching. I think for a uh, uh, junior teacher would be more challenging because uh, sometimes uh, if they want they are more used to hand holding the student mm. and, yeah. and also um, many teachers have many ways of uh, teaching their students correct <laughs> yeah so, so that uh, i also know uh, that you have also groomed uh, a few of your uh, students including your own daughter Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they they become teachers too, you know. Yeah. So yeah. um, you know, so have they feedback to you about their transition to yeah. uh, yes, 
Yes, I think uh, my daughter also teach online now, and I have student, uh, uh, the other student uh, taught online, a few students taught online. Mm. And one of them is Frederick. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know whether he's watching now. <laughs> okay, I. I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I think. I'm um... bad about you. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> no. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think for them, you see, people have, even they are my student, they mm. may have a different style of teaching. Mm. Yeah, so I think um, they may have challenges, uh, but if they come to me and uh, ask me, I will give them some advices. Mm -hmm. uh, there are people who come and ask me. Mm. Uh, generally, it's not more on how do I teach online? They probably, they, they, most of them, the question is asking me that, uh, what are equipment should I buy? <laughs> 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 I want to be, you know, how, what setup should I have, you know? I see, uh, I see. More of that. Know, so I have um, some of my colleagues mm. who are pianists. You know, mm. they, they, are, they, are they, they are going to teach online, the piano online, and uh, they ask me what to do for their setup. Ah, I okay. Think, I think drum is a very challenging one. You need three camera, one on <laughs> the leg, the hand. <laughs> so it's, it's and also the synchronization. You know, yeah. if there's a leg issue, I think the percussionist has a more challenge. Okay, percussionist will have more challenge. All musicians will have challenge if there's a leg. Uh, but I think we can make do with other things that offline the student can send their recording to you. Mm -hmm. I also encourage my students, no matter they are, you know. And I can say that most like 90 over percent of their lesson online went very smoothly, no lag at all, because it's Good. quite comfortable. Mm. Um, I still encourage them to send me offline, uh, their offline recording, their video recording, mm -hmm. and I will comment on it. I see. Okay. I encourage. And also now the uh, the board that we are. We are sending the exam, uh, uh, student for exam. They also have a recorded exam. Oh, okay. Okay, so the London College of Music yeah. has started this uh, recorded exam as well. Because mm -hmm. students can play their piece, record it down, and uh, upload to their website, and will have the same standard of marking, same criteria. They will get the same examiner probably to mark, uh, to mark. Uh, Exam. So I think not only us teaching exam, mm. I think uh, teaching student, I think examination board have to reinvent mm. and they are moving like, like LCM is a very advanced board right. and they are moving very quickly and they, they actually have this online uh, recorded exam before mm. uh, on the performing performance awards. So this, they already had a platform. So mm. now it's very easy for them to open up for the recorded exam uh, for the whole world. And the exam is uh, started really. So this is the first time we are seeing that more exam being done recorded due to this COVID-19. So which means and they then, have been doing that all along, like the online uh, kind of exam yes, has been, yeah, has been they done. Yeah, that was on the performance award. It's another type of exam. I and uh, now the more stringent exam are also conducted by recording mm -hmm. and they have uh, approval from the regulate, uh, UK regulating body like OFQUA mm -hmm. and it's a uh, very uh, good news, encouraging news that uh, we are, our student can take recorded exam at this time. Mm -hmm. So nobody will lag behind, nobody try, I, I did this online to also assist a student, not, you know, we do not know when this pandemic will go away. Yeah, yeah. So I think rather than, you know, let the situation, let the environment control us, we try to control mm. our, what we have, do whatever we have at this moment of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, so what you are trying to tell us here is that that's your takeaway from this uh, COVID-19, is it? Yes, and also after this COVID-19, mm. uh, we would have uh, we can reinvent how we teach uh, our lesson, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, occasionally, I have students who just can't wake up late for lesson. I say, but still we go online, right? <laughs> I, I used to get calls, like, oh, Mr. Lo, I'm, I'm a bit late, I say, you know, things like that. I, if, 
and also if students are on overseas travel assignment, mm. work assignment, or overseas attachment studies next time, mm-hmm. you know, uh, international exchange program with the tertiary student, I think they can also go online with us. Huh? Mm-hmm. And also, the next thing to think about it is that uh, we are achieving globalization, uh, we are opening up to a global market. So this, uh, it seems that this thing doesn't seem to be an obstacle to you, but instead, like, uh, because I've, I've, I've seen uh, a lot of entrepreneurs, right, when this thing happens, you know, the first thing is like, uh, I, I, I don't know what to do with it, I'll wait till COVID-19 is over, blah, blah, blah. But it seems that from, your com- from the conversation with you, you seem to be seeing a lot of opportunities. I didn't hear you talking about obstacles, but you seem to be talking a lot of opportunities. Uh, and so so I- I- is that um, you know, something that you're advising to our uh, entrepreneurs as well, other entrepreneurs as well? Okay, I think, um, I think this opportunity just come because of, uh, okay, this COVID-19 is one of them that trigger a lot of online teaching. Yeah. The next thing, the thing, the next thing is that I'm always like interested and uh, passionate about, you know, I was from a previous I- MNC IT company. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we have been working online, mm. teleconference and all these things. Mm. So I'm not new to online working. Mm. And also, um, I was thinking that how to best, uh, always I have, I always like, when I'm free, I always like to think what are the better ways of teaching students, you know, how can I do better as a teacher, mm. and all this come into play when um, online, is a, when this thing comes that I need to do online, actually I taught you many, many nights, many, 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 you have to spend a lot of time thinking through how you want to conduct differently. And also on the same time, uh, as you do as a passion, you find that you're opening up to a group of students that I used to travel to uh, overseas to, to teach some of my students in overseas. Mm. But now with this pandemic, I can't travel. Mm. And uh, they do online with me. I find that uh, it's sort of like, you know, a push and pull, uh, just nice opportunity. Uh, we, I can't go and, uh, you know, so no choice we do online. And we find that, hey, actually not too bad, you know. The thing turned out to be very positive. Mm. And they find that they, they have learned and uh, the feedback from them are very positive and very encouraging. Mm. Uh, most of them love to have online lessons. Okay. Yeah. So- and also this pandemic forced them to go and do it, to rethink mm. how we can conduct a lesson. Uh, differently from a face to face, and they are also bought at home. Uh, I mean, they are not done. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of students are very happy. I'm also very happy. I have something to pass down. Also. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah. So so um, um yeah. So it's like uh, I like I like what you said just now. Is that you know sometimes you you, you will think of uh, whenever you are doing something, you will think of how to uh, have a breakthrough in what you're doing so that you can do it better the next time. So, so when this thing, uh, when this pandemic started and then uh, you, you jump in quite fast, right? You jump on the wagon okay. quite fast. <laughs> Am I going to say? <laughs> Not too late, okay. right? You already started, huh? I, yeah. I don't think I'm that early because um, the, the, I belong to one of the UK uh, membership, the RGT, and they have a long, all along have a lot of Skype lesson. Last time they use Skype. Yeah. Uh, they have a lot of Skype lesson as well uh, mm-hmm. for for the student. And mm-hmm. uh, so it's, it's online teaching is not a very new concept. It's been for very long already. Mm. Very long already. But because of the advance of technology now, mm. it makes online the teaching experience more comfortable, more adaptive, you know, more more better effects and ease of use also. Mm-hmm. So I think it's very successful now. I think moving ahead in future, mm-hmm. there'll be more powerful hardware and software being created. I think the effect will be even much better 
Right. Technology will not stop here, it will just improve and improve. So we may have 3D effects. <laughs> Maybe one day there's oh, a 3D no, scan yeah. can, yeah, yeah, I can yeah. show you. Uh, so we would know and uh, today you see the mic. Uh, I mean, I'm speaking through my condenser mic now. Mm. Uh, I'm a, I speak loudly, I'm a loud person. So I think this mic is still sound quite decent across. I uh, sound quite natural across. Uh, so it's a quite good technology, you know. Mm. I think mm. maybe 20 years ago, when we just started internet, it was, I think, very impossible. Our mm. online meeting is with uh, PowerPoint slides, share screens. <laughs> I think the video cam don't have this feature, the, mm. the bandwidth of internet doesn't cater for this. But with current level of technology, mm. you can comfortably uh, teach online at home. No need to be in the office as well or in the studio, you know. And the, the investment of hardware compared to previously 10, 20 years ago, you need, uh, I mean, it's, a, uh, it's quite affordable. Mm -hmm. uh, to have this, uh, all this hardware, it's, it's, it's not in the thousand, it's in hundreds only, I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so it's, it's more accessible right now, right? More yes, than like a few years ago. Yeah, and yeah. everybody is, uh, you, you, don't, you don't need a studio or uh, to be, you, you need, need not be a TV studio, TV station to be a star. You can be a star at home <laughs> with your headphone. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, so, um, so for this, right, um, uh, what else would you like to, you know, for those people who are hesitating whether to embark, you know, uh, their businesses online or not, um, what would be your advice to them? Okay, I can advise on online teaching and coaching. Mm -hmm. If you are currently doing face-to-face, -face, mm. uh, I think the next step is to try this with some of your assisting students. Mm -hmm. because you have rapport right. and you can you can do a trial before I started this online I have a, a few trial lessons that I trial with uh, overseas student local student to see how is the effects of this online and get their feedback so mm -hmm. initially when I was using a rather a simple microphone so I was using actually um, a very simple, this type of uh, speaker cam microphone here. Okay. So I sound quite decent, distant, you know. They oh. can't hear me. Then with those feedback, then I, I will, okay, now I need to, uh, the mic was not so good. So we need to upgrade the hardware and uh, get a more decent mic. So mm -hmm. then this will come in. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think, I think one thing is that uh, from the feedback that trial we do, the mm -hmm. student, uh, Mr. Lu, I can't hear you clearly. Oh, you know what happened. Okay, let's see. I try a few mic. Then I try with my handful mic. I try this. Then you will notice that when you want to start something, start in a small scale, uh, trial, trial with your assisting customer, trial with your assisting student. Then, you know, think through the critical part. That, okay, online, what should I do? When face to to replace the face to face um, routine that you are doing, you know, think that online, what should I do slightly different mm -hmm. uh, to to get my uh, knowledge across, to get the idea across. Then, what are the the difficulty you will face? Then, uh, what can you do to overcome this and have mm -hmm. some trial with your current student because you have more rapport. Mm -hmm. And they were actually they were they are your teachers as well. They'll go, oh okay, they'll feedback to you, okay, these are not that good, then you can move forward. I, I think start in a small scale, try mm -hmm. it first, and when you're comfortable, roll up. Okay. So mm -hmm. so you would suggest that uh it's uh it's it's good to go on trial with people that you know first and give you the mm -hmm. an honest feedback uh, on yes. that. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. So yeah, so now um, we think we have the pleasure, the honor to hear you play no. <laughs> and then test your mic out. <laughs> yeah. It's tested, huh? It's tested, Okay, yeah. no problem. So, um, no problem. Yeah, so Eric is going to play a, a, a song, a Romance de Amor. A piece, uh, Yeah, a piece. And um, so he's preparing himself now. 
um, yeah, so we, we can see how he normally uh, guides his students through, you know, when he plays and so on. So, yeah, whenever you're ready, just let me know, Eric. Okay. okay. So now, because um, after lecturing or after teaching, then you need mm -hmm. to demo. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would normally tilt a bit lower so that they see my guitar. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, it would be good that they see your whole body, but I think the most important is that they see the guitar that you're playing. Okay. So yeah. that they can see a left hand and right hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, I'll just demo a simple piece uh, okay. um, uh, just for the, to, to demonstrate the effect, see how, how is it. <laughs> no, no, no. It's very clear. Uh, I, I think it's like you can hear the 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 music, <laughs> the music. I mean the um, the crisp of the sound. Yeah, it's not like I, I was expecting. Like it's a little bit muffled kind of a uh, tone. But I think um, you have really invested a very good mic. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, no lesson, uh, I mean, best would be face to face. Mm. But uh, due to next time, the difficulty, if you are separate by geographical difference, mm -hmm. or there's other restrictions or challenges you have that can't come to the teachers, or the student can't come to the teachers, or teacher can come to the student, right. then it might, might work well with online teaching as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, are, you foresee that there's a new opportunity for you to embark on. I think for everybody, uh, for definitely. Everybody, and, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think this COVID-19 will, will let a lot of uh, institution, private institution, I've seen tuition center going online, mm -hmm. music institute, I even see dance school online as well. Yeah, so it's, classes. <laughs> yeah, so yoga classes. <laughs> I know what you're trying to say. <laughs> I haven't talked for a long time already. Uh, I say to teach. All my students are more advanced than me now. <laughs> no la. <laughs> yeah. So, no la. You can, you can start. I will support you. <laughs> you, <thank> you. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's a, a new... Uh, so this COVID-19, uh, it's not... Um, yeah, yeah, it does affect in, uh, in a way to a lot of businesses, traditional businesses, but it also brings us uh, a new light also, force us to, force us out of the comfort zone. I think most of us already know that ultimately one day some things may have to go online. But I guess it's like because we are so comfortable uh, doing the way we are doing, if not for this thing that forces us to think out of 
I can't say think about the uh, out of the box, <laughs> la, but force okay. us out from the comfort zone. We wouldn't have pushed ourselves to do it and really put the heart to do it. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I guess... I fully agree with you. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought so too because um, I thought it, it's so admirable because I saw you, you know, when you, 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 you stated, online, uh, stated on Facebook that you wanted to do it. I was like, <laughs> wow. Actually, I, I mean, for me, right, I've, I've been introduced to online teaching for a long time, but I still haven't come up with my course. So I say, you know, <laughs> since last November, I haven't come up with my course yet. And then, and then like, um, but uh, I must say that you also really inspire me you know, like how you inspire me the other time when you started your studio, you also inspire me that uh, just do it, you know, with, with a small scale, so what? Just just do it and then let people, let the other party be your, uh, 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 your teacher to give you the feedback so that you can correct it. So I think this can be also applicable to all other businesses as well, right? As in like, whether you're in a music uh, business, whether you are in, a, um, you know, in, 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 in some other kind of a service uh, uh, business, um, there's always ways of uh, actually bringing your business on the online platform. Yeah, so, um, so and, and I, I guess the most, I think the thing is how to overcome that, that uh, discomfort. So how do you feel when you overcome this discomfort? Okay, I think um, with this pandemic, we are forced to move faster. <laughs> so you are pushed, pushed to do it. And also, I mean, um, there's not much of uh, inertia moment, uh, inertia for me. But I mean, initially, I'm also very um, open to technology because of my previous work. Mm. And uh, so um, it's easier for me to cross this mm -hmm. hurdle. Mm -hmm. uh, rather the, the teaching, the thinking was that uh, I must make sure that I, I, I appear, instruction was clear, the, the quality of the, the, the sound, the tone I've produced uh, would be decent. Mm -hmm. and that's uh, very important. And fortunately, I mean, the, the current technology has helped us a lot. Uh, Mm -hmm. yeah. to, to be able to do that. Yeah. So we just have to try. We just have to, try. yeah, try. really try to try, right? Just start with some, just start with two or three best friends or your student and, you know, kick up with this thing. And even if you, you have no syllabus, um, a few pages, keep them going, the ball rolling. Start mm -hmm. with a trial, free trial with your good friend or some of your khakis. And if they is well received, get their feedback, improve on your you know teaching, teaching syllabus or your your content, and uh, redevelop again if you think that it uh, didn't bring across well online, uh, it can redesign again. And I think you'll be you'll get there eventually. Yeah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Nobody Thanks. start online perfectly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Eric, for uh for your time this evening. You're most welcome. And thank you for sharing with us and then um especially your learning curve and what are the things that you you know uh yeah people who are like you you know offline to online and uh yeah so thank you very much for this evening and uh yeah, all the best and we keep in touch again yeah thank you okay. Janice thank all you right. most welcome thank you okay. bye 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 everyone bye bye, bye. bye. see you